Hello, my name is Karina Bonner and I'm a professional puppet and prop maker and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own bird mask. To make our bird mask all you need is some blue paper, yellow paper, slightly thicker card, sellotape, string, print stick, a pen, a stapler and some scissors. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half. This is the base of our mask. What we need to do here is just draw ourselves an eye hole and a shape that roughly allows us to stick lots of feathers on the mask. Now all we've got to do is cut this out. To cut out your eye hole, stab your scissors down into the middle and give them a little twist and then cut away that eye shape. Open that out and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now our next step is preparing some feathers for our mask. To do that, I take my blue paper and fold it over as many times as I can cut through. By doing this, I can get lots and lots of different shapes of feathers out of just the one bit of paper. So I'm just going to cut some crescent shapes out and see what we're left with. Now you can keep using your paper till you run out because that way you get lots of different feathers that are different sizes and shapes that you can play with. Okay, once you've got a small mountain of feathers you just have to start gluing them onto the face. Now I prefer to use Pritt stick for this because it's quite clean. Just pop a bit of Pritt onto the bottom of your feather and start from the outside edge and work your way in. It's good to leave any larger feathers towards the outside edge and work your way in with smaller feathers. Once you've got your mask completely covered in feathers, it's time to make your beak. To make a beak, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, cut along the fold, and create a cone shape. Now you can use a little bit of Pritt stick along that edge to keep your cone together. Once you've got a cone roughly the shape that you'd like, just fold along the outside line edges and cut away at the back of it to square it off. Next, to attach your beak to your mask, just cut along the two outside lines and in the middle of your beak. These flaps are going to help connect it to the mask. So fold those over and I'm going to pop a little bit of Pritt stick in that area.
Then I can just cut away here at the bottom of the beak. Now I'm going to use a few more feathers just to cover up these flaps that I've glued down. Once everything's attached, just take your colouring pencils and add a little bit more colour and texture to your feathers. Now I'm just going to take our black pen and trace around that eye hole to emphasise that a bit more. And finally, to finish the beak off, I'm going to draw two little nostril curls and if you want to you can even go along the outside edge of your fold with the pen in order to define the opening of your beak. So once you've spent a bit of time on your mask you can even curl forward some of these stuck down feathers using a pencil just roll the feathers down and get a nice curl in there. That'll give your mask a little bit more movement. And once you're happy that you've got it to a stage where it feels complete, then it's time to pop your string on the back. So just turn your mask over, take your string, and a stapler and staple it near to the height of your eyes. Do the same on the other side. So repeat this again on the other side. And then, if you want to, just to make that a little bit more secure and so that those staples don't bother you, just pop a little bit of masking tape over the top, like this. Once you're happy with the string on your mask, all you've got to do is tie a knot at the back, roughly in the right position so that it fits your head, and your mask should be ready to wear. And that is how you make a bird mask.